This is what we use in the military. It's called a protractor. And on this map, which is 1 over 20, 25,000, we're going to use this square. As you can see here, it says 1 over 25,000. That basically means that for every for every inch on the map, 1 inch equals 25,000 inches on the ground. So, to get a visual aid, I'm going to read. I made a bigger one of these right here. So this is my makeshift protractor. Now again, this big square is this square right here. And I've divided these lines right here you won't see on the map. So how do we use these last remaining numbers to find our spot? Each your protractor will have tick marks of each 100 uh, meters. Your easternly and your northernly. So on your map, you would put the bottom of the protractor, this line, and line it up with the bottom of, of your, the line on your grid square here. And so, your easternly, 648, 648 meters, what you do here is, You start from this line and you move this until you're at 600 right there. You're tracking. And then the 48, so you, we're at 600, so you want to break that down even more into 48 meters. So each little tick mark is 20 meters. So you move it back. 600, 620, 640, 660. So you're basically guessing. We want to be right about in the middle there. So that would be about 650. You squeeze it, you slide it over a little bit more. And there we go. So now we, so now right here, we are at, we have our eastern line. So now we're ready to plot our northern line, 400 meters, 471 meters. So you do the same thing. You walk, you came, you come up here. I'm going to my pen. 100, oops, 100, 200, 300, 400, and the number, our number is 471. 400, 2, 4, 6, 71. So it's in between there. So it's right about there. And you mark it. So, that's how you use a protractor. I'll do the same thing on the map with an actual protractor. Here's our square here. I'm going to use the Army protractor. This bottom line, I line up with the line on the map. And with our four, our three seven four, excuse me, three seven four line, we start there. We move it till we get to our six. Six four eight. 
and then we go 471 meters north from that. 471 meters north. And I already marked it with a pencil. So that's how you plot your map. You plot your uh, position. Next, I'll show you how to get there from your from wherever you uh, start from. Okay, so here's our grid square. That dot is where we want to go. So how do we get there? Well, we need to find a known point. Here's the road. Here's the main road right here. If you can see, there's a trail right here that jo that joins this main road. So the junction of this trail and this main road here is a known point. Take your protractor, put the center of your protractor right on that junction of that trail. Make sure this line on your protractor is in line with the maps, with the line on the maps. Now with the string, there's our dot right there where we want to go. With the string, I pull it and I go to that dot and then I can follow it to the degrees on the side here. And it says it's 70 degrees. So from here to there is 70 degrees. That is your plotted azimuth, which will be your bearing on your compass. Now, how far is it? Well, you can use the bottom here of your protractor to find out how far away it is. You put the zero at the junction here there's our dot and you slide it so it is about 620 meters so that now we have a distance so now write that down your direction is 70 degrees, the distance is 620 meters. So how do we plot this on our compass? Our direction is 70 degrees. You basically turn your dial here until you're at 70 degrees, which is right there. So when you get to your actual destination, when we're actually standing there, you hold your compass and you turn it until your needle is hitting north. And this is the direction of where you want to walk to. Now, how do you use ranger beads? Well, there's some ranger beads here. Everybody has a different pace count. My pace count is every time I hit 71 steps, or paces I mean, that is 100 meters. And I pull that down. And then I start counting again. When I get to another 71 paces, I pull another one down. That way I know I walked 200 meters. So let's go out there and uh, find the cache.